If I didn't have two knee replacements, I would be crippled. And I would be sedent have, a, have to live a sedentary life. And that's not the life I want to live. So I had a total knee replacement a week ago today. She's been a patient of mine for over 25 years. And you know, like most of my patients, you know, I don't really need the electronic medical record to know them. I can just look at them and we have a very good relationship with it. It's not a kind of, you show up and you get the sales pitch to have an operation. You, you get taken care of and then when you need the surgery, you get the surgery. I had my other knee done uh, seven years ago and I knew then that eventually I would need this one done. Dr. Zerbach said, you'll tell me when it's time to do it. And I completely trust him, you know, have no reservation going to him. I'm not sure I'd let somebody else do it. And I still do all my own surgery, and I still am there for the entire operation right up until the wound closure. My, my surgical assistants will close the skin incision, but I'm there with the positioning of the patient. I'm there, and every patient is different. You know, it's not one size fits all. You know, having a good team makes a, makes a big, big difference. Um, you really have to have people who know what they're doing. You have to have people that are comfortable with you. What we've learned over the years is that the less time you spend in the hospital, the better. You're better off at home. Um, and the more you can make a hospital like a home or like a hotel room with hospitality services, the better people do. It's better for them emotionally, it's better for the recovery. So we really, quite frankly, try to push people out the door as soon as possible and make the short stay that they're here as pleasant as possible. So that means private rooms, it means good food, it means having attentive people who care. The woman that greets you when you get dropped off, the, the valet person outside, to every person that I came across along the way, every person that came in and out of my room, uh, everybody was wonderful. Even the food was good. We do the surgery and we do that, but 90% of the work has to be done afterwards and the patient has to do that. So you need a motivated patient, but you also need the resources available for the patient. I mean, to have the gym right next to you where people really know exactly what you've done, that kind of just going to the same place really does make a difference. It's very helpful. This first week is always rough and you know it's going to be, but we're trying to manage the pain and um, I'm doing really well. The therapist says that my range of motion is excellent and I'm doing terrific.